Hello everybody, uh, right this video, <laughs> uh, I've been compelled to make this video mainly due to a photograph, so I'm going to show you in a moment actually, on my iPhone, uh, that was posted by the Amber Nectar Twitter account uh, yesterday, uh, I'll just show you it, you can see it, can we not go off, right, see it's the whole city badge, it's just one ground, there you go, as you can see that whole city badge is a little bit different to the one that's on the shirt, and the one that's pretty much displayed everywhere else related to the club. Right, basically, and me and a lot of other people seem to think there's some sort of, well, covert operation by the club to change its name. Uh, we've been told by the club, basically, that uh, they've rebranded the business side of the club, Hull City Tigers, or Hull Tigers, or whatever. Uh, this really spouted from us inquiring why Asam Alam, the owner of the club, uh, was referring to us as Hull Tigers in radio interviews and interviews in the press. Uh, was initially told that that was his pet name of the club, which I thought was a bit odd, but then again, he's not the most straightforward kind of guy, is he? Uh, so we sort of thought that's fair enough then, you know. You know, he owns a club, he has his own little name for the club, you know, there's nothing harmless really. Um, then, I think it was round about the time of the Player of the Season Awards, we saw that badge, which I've just shown you. And everybody's thinking, hang on, you know, it's not the same badge as the one here, which has got Hull City AFC, the Tigers on it. It's a different version. I thought, well, that's a bit odd. So I asked him again, and he said, well, it's just purely for the Player of the Season Awards, it's just a rebranded re badge. So I thought, okay, fair enough. Uh, anyway, that that's one thing, you know, there's still people a little bit suspicious of the club's motives in doing this and, and thinking, well, why are they rebranding, you know, the, the business side of the club? What, what difference is that going to make? Is it going to try to appeal to the, the Far Eastern market? You know, I, I don't know, you know, it was just the way it came out. And um, a lot of people were slightly suspicious, but only mildly suspicious. I don't think anybody was really worried until uh, we saw, well, not until yesterday when I saw that photograph, it was a little bit before then, there was... Bit a lot of the uh, commercial aspects of the club, obviously, they do things like you know, they negotiate uh, sponsorship deals for all various kinds of things related to the club. Uh, one of them, of course, is Stands. The East Stand has got a new sponsor this season, uh, so South, South Stand has extended their sponsorship deal with MKM Supplies. Now, basically, there was a lot of this whole Tigers appearing in the literature and in the, in the press releases. Hulls as a brand of whole Tigers, and we're thinking, well. We're not called Hull Tigers, we're Hull City. You know, I don't understand why they, what, they felt the need to rebrand us, uh, you know, on the business side. But we were told explicitly by Nick Thompson, the manager director of the club and other people, that this was just a business thing. It was just, well, yeah, we're just calling it the business. We're going to rename the business side of the club. Um, you know, it's not nothing to worry about. We're not going to change the club name or anything like that. It's purely the business side of, you know, of, the, uh, of the club. Uh, it's going to be renamed, uh, or rebranded, was the phrase that he used. Uh, I do believe as well they've, they've changed the name of the, the company that, that runs the club at Business House, which I believe was Hull City Association Football Club, open bracket, Tigers, close bracket, limited. I may be wrong, but it was something in that, it was a long title anyway. Uh, and that was the name of the club, well, the name of the business side. Uh, of, a, of a club after Adam Pearson took it over in 2001 as a new company that was formed and they shone it to Hull Tigers they made mm. and so far it was probably the first indicator that they was, they was going to do something like this anyway um, so that's some alarm was calling us Hull Tigers in interviews and we thought well you know fair enough he's a little bit of it. he's a slightly bit eccentric um, then his son used it um, in an interview uh, not an interview it was sort of like a, a, res a response to the uh, what uh, Paul Duffin said in that radio interview on Radio Umbersad, uh last week. And that was the first time he'd used it. Uh, and that was slightly, that got one or two alarm bells ringing because, you know, the consensus was that this was just Papa Allen's idea, Paul Tigers, and that his son and uh, the manager director of the club had sort of said, mm, maybe not the best idea, you know, just keep, you know, we'll keep it at Paul City. Uh, and then 
this photo appeared yesterday, the one I've just showed you, which shows the, the training ground gates, but this would probably be described as a, as a bastardised version of the Badger Pyramid. And this is, well, pretty much going against what they've said. They've basically said, well, you know, it's just a business side of the club that's getting rebranded, the football side is going to remain the same. But this obviously does not suggest that. This suggests that they've rebranded a football inside, you know, the training ground football inside. It's something to do with the business. It's whether the team train and, and you know, and whatnot. So, obviously now, a lot of fans are getting very tetchy, me included. Um... You know, I'm, I was always prepared to give them the benefit of the doubt in this. I thought, well, you know, I don't understand why they was doing it. Why well, they had to be brand the business side of the club, but hey, hell, you know, I'm not in business, so maybe you know, it went over my head a little bit. But this is clearly they clear lied to us. To be perfectly honest, they've they've said one thing and done exactly the opposite. So I'm a little bit miffed. I'm, I'm not the only one. Um, a lot of fans that I follow on Twitter are mad about. There was a hashtag generated last night saying "Notes for City Tigers." Uh, and obviously, you know, there's one or two worried people out there that think there is going to be there's some sort of covert operation the club are executing to change our name. Um, really, now I think it's time the club became a little bit more honest with us. Uh, stop treating us like kids or talking to us like kids. Stop basically messing us about. Um, where you know, most we're quite intelligent, most of us. Uh, and we deserve being long time supporters of the club to be you know to be told the truth uh, if you have plans to change the club's name tell us don't do it behind our backs or feed us all the bullshit about oh we rebranded the business side of the club and then sticking that on the training at the gates of the training ground in Cottingham and, and expect none of us to to notice it uh, or expect us to turn a blind eye to it uh, come out and say what basically tell us the truth you know tell us what you want to do do you want to change our name do you want to drop the AFC off the, the name and replace it with Tigers do you want to call us Hull Tigers what do you want to do just tell us because it's getting now a little bit boring uh, and it, it's getting worrying uh, and quite frankly I've last 24 hours and maybe I'm overreacting I don't know that's all I thought about this whole city tigers and not the fact that you know we're five weeks away from the new season in the Premier League and the fixtures the televised fixtures came out yesterday and, and everything else. So you know they need to be transparent with us now and tell us rather than bullshit us basically. Uh, you know, I personally don't think there's a reason to change our name. I don't understand why you would want to do that. Why we have to replace the AFC with Tigers. I mean, it's not as if our nickname, which is the Tigers, it is, you know pretty visible when it comes to the brand of the club I mean look it's on the badge you've got a tiger there look it says tiger head right you've got the name of the tiger underneath it we play in a similar colour to a tiger I mean what more do you want apart from sticking a tiger in it I mean it doesn't make any sense I mean we, when we were formed all those years ago we were, we were named as per the usual football naming convention of most clubs in those days uh, you know we were, uh, it, named after our town or city we were, we were playing we have the usual suffixes like you know uh United City, Wanderers, uh, Rovers, Athletic, those kind of things. And we was named in that respect. And, and we're not following the American sporting way of doing things, but they have animal names. I mean, Millwall or the Lions, but you know, they don't have, they're not called Millwall Lions, they're called Millwall. You know, there's, there's Arsenal, they're, they're Gunners, but they're not Gunners after their name. Uh, there's loads of other clubs with nicknames. You know, Manchester United, the Red Devils, uh, West Ham United, the Fossils, but they're called the Baggies. You know, Legion United, the White Shite. I mean, at the end of the day, it's we are no different to any other club in that respect. We have a nickname that isn't part of our main name. Our main name is Hull City AFC, but we have a nickname that is quite prominent, more prominent than a lot of clubs, I think. And I think to stick tags on it of it would make no sense because it, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't make any difference, and I don't think it would make any difference, especially to what people are saying that it might give us a bigger presence in the Far East. You know, those people over there, they they don't care for the city. You know, this is not even our, our third season in the Premier League. We're not an established Premier League club. You know, they'll they'll follow the big clubs, the Man United, the Chelsea's, the Arsenal, the Manchester Cities. Uh, they won't care for us. And it, yeah, the Tiger may make us more slightly noticed, but it's not going to change them. Oh, that would be supporting Man United one day and change it to well, I'm going to support the city because of the Tiger. It's not going to make any difference. So, I think 
the Allums and the managing direction need to be a bit more uh, clandestine with us now and say, well, yeah, we're planning to change it in, uh, blah, blah, blah. And, and then we can get into a discussion of why we, they think it's a good idea and why we think it's not a good idea. But stop lying to us. That, that's a lie. That was deceitful what, what they've done with the, the training ground and the gates. And quite frankly, it's disgusting me a little bit, to be honest. Um, but us fans, I like to think us fans, are sort of the moral owners of the club. You know, we're the constants. You know, owners come and go, managers come and go, players come and go, but the fans are always there. And I think we like to, you know, we like to be appreciated. I don't know what we are, but sometimes it seems that we're not. And um, it's a little bit disappointing. So I think it'd be nice for the Allens who've done a fantastic job of us. You know, you know, I'm not totally against what they've you know against them 100% you know they've done an amazing job of the club uh, they've put a lot of their own personal fortune in the club but that doesn't mean that they should be able or they should be allowed you know to do a carte blanche for what you know with the traditions and the culture uh, that have made us the, the club that we are today I mean you know the name is synonymous but you know, any football club's name is synonymous with the team uh, you know unless it's a fantastic reason to do so you should never change it so so anyway uh, it's, it's it, it needs to be addressed. I think uh, those supporters that think we're overreacting or feel that it's not really an issue, uh, you know, you've got your own opinions on this, obviously. But I feel that it is it need, needs to be sorted out. Uh, I know we have these flag meetings, the fans leaders and advisory group. It needs to be really pressed forward now because it seems to me that they've said one thing and I've done exactly the other. And uh, until we get some proper explanation from the club. Then it's people are gonna you know jump to conclusions or gonna think there's something you know completely wrong going on with the you know the name of the club. Um, I'll wrap it up there because I'm babbling now, but you can understand my point of view. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you, your opinion is different to mine, if you feel that maybe you know it would be a bad idea, some people said they'll get full seats out. It's not that bad really. I mean, fair enough. That should my opinion is we shouldn't change the name. Full stop. There'd be people out there that think it's. You know, it's uh, it won't be that bad. So anyway, if you know, if your opinion is different to mine, or you agree with what I've said, you know, just pop a comment in if you'd uh, be so nice. Uh, like, you know, as well, subscribe in. And there's a lot of people saw my first video. I was quite happy with that actually. I didn't expect to be thousands upon thousands of views, but uh, I've got them three figures, so I was quite pleased with that. Uh, thanks for those people that watched the first video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll uh, get off now, and I'll uh, speak to you soon. Bye bye.